Morgan Knoll here with Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I'm bringing you an inventory item. This is a used 2020 Trails West Santa Fe. Uh, it's got the little weekender package on it with the stock combo in the back. Pretty neat little setup on this trailer, but we'll go ahead and start looking at it and all that. So we got this hooked up to one of our inventory trucks right now. Um, just so you guys, clearance wise, we're still sitting good on this. This is a newer truck as well, so that truck bed is up a little higher. So we got plenty of clearance. Got your um, adjustable coupler right there, so that goes up and down so we can adjust it to how much room we need to be able to, you know, give you enough clearance but still running, still running straight on it. While we're over here, we're just going to do stock number 5U21191, and it's a used 2020 Trails West Santa Fe. Down here, you got your manual crank jack, spare tire, and then you do have a little box right here where you can put a battery in it if you'd like. Um, that battery would allow you to be able to run the lights without being hooked up to a truck or uh, another external battery source or power. So this neat setup right here, you've got your separate tack room, dressing room entrance. Um, this is kind of what I mean by the weekender type part. So coming in here, we've got carpet. It's a nice little hangout area if you wanted to hang out during a show. Um, and you do have the capabilities of plugging into a 30 amp plug. And that way you do have power in here. You'd be able to, you know, throw a mattress up here if you wanted to and also run heater, AC, fan, um, anything like that that you'd bring along additionally. This, I really like this part. This is a cooler. Um, be able to keep your, you know, water in there for me, beer, anything like that. And then on this side, you do have just your plug-in with your converter and then your uh, 30 amp plug is right there. And that's on the outside of the trailer, and I'll show you guys when we get around to that side. So over here, you do have a clothes bar, hang some clothes. A couple racks right here, be able to, you know, put clothes on there, your hats. I mean, a lot of different options in this trailer. Also have an additional hat rack right up here. It's a neat little setup. I really like this trailer. And then over here, you do have a cabinet for storage. Well, let me get up here. Cabinet for storage. <laughs> and then saw the cup holders. Got a little cup holder right there. And this one actually has a screen door that comes across. So if you're needing to waste some time at a show, you can chill out in here, hang out, um, get that screen door across so you're not getting as many flies and everything in there. So coming over here, you've got your tack room. You got a swing out saddle rack, little organizational thing down below. It's also really nice because this bottom one, you can throw your stirrups in there and then they're not, you know, flapping around and hitting everything. Uh, you've got or organization on the door as well. And then a brush box down below. And that just swings in super easily. Inside that tack room, you also got your blanket pole. And then you have your bridle hooks all the way around. Carpeted behind the bridle hooks to help alleviate some of that swing that the bridles are going to do while you're going down the road. Um, help keep the bridles in better condition and also help keep the trailer in a better condition. And then you also have a water tank over there in the corner. So that water tank comes in handy if you've got a horse that doesn't like to drink water at different locations. I know some of them can be picky. Um, be able to bring some of your own water to mix in to get them to drink more. Or if you're going on a long road trip and you know it's going to be hot outside, you got to pull off, offer some water to the horses, you've got some water on board. Or if for some reason something were to happen, you're sitting on the side of the road, at least you got water for the horses, maybe even yourself, dogs, whatever else you have with you. So over here on the hip side, you've got four ties, plexiglass inserts. So these do come out. So 
you can you know pick how much airflow you do want coming through this trailer um, yeah if you're hauling in the summer you can take them all out get some more airflow going through in the winter close it up a little bit winterize it a little bright led light up above that light's going to come in handy when it's dark out you're tacking untacking in the dark or just hanging out at the trailer be able to see and be able to have that light down below we've got two 7,000 pound dexter torsion axles with your 16 inch aluminum wheels and then coming over here to the rear you see we've got one big gate um, when we're done back here i'll shut that this is actually a slam gate too so you do have that option of using that slam gate on it and then it also has the slider so um, combo wise you got the option you know haul horses haul cattle pigs sheep goats i mean whatever you need to haul around you can do it on this trailer so back here you do have an led light up above load light back there You've got your light switches right here on the side see these right here so these are going to control the interior lights and then this rear um, backlight and the one on the side over here and then in the tack room forgot to show you guys but there's two more uh, light switches over there for the interior of the tack and then this side light on the other side so coming up in here into the stall area we've got four lights coming all the way across and then your plexiglass both sides roof vents up above so those push forward and they push backwards so push them forward they're going to help draw air in you push them backwards they're going to help draw that air out and get your maximum airflow going through this one's got one center cut gate it is on a slant so that one pushes over and locks in so that's really nice i like that feature just because if you have one maybe two horses up front you can shut that and then have two in the back or if you've got one that is naughty doesn't like other horses you can shut them off by themselves up there um, and then have more in the back or if you want to haul a four-wheeler with you put the four-wheeler in the front and then the horses in the back so there's a lot of different options you can do different ways of being able to do it and all that right here on the inside of the trailer you do have a release for that slam gate just in case you do get yourself in here in a pickle doors locked you can get your release right here to get yourself out so wood plank floors down below um, underneath these mats so these wood plank floors pull it off to the side a little it's actually cooped up underneath but you can see your wood planks and then you do have drain store or drainage between them and that comes back down and they did do this little lip right here be able to keep that mat down so horses isn't grabbing it with their toe so to shut this gate um, what i mean by slam latch you can actually and it grabs so that slam latch is going to come in handy if you're loading cattle you don't want to get behind that gate too much have them push you out of the way you're loading a scared horse something like that you can get behind them shut that gate real fast and it is going to lock and then all you got to do is take it let it release it you just pull this down and then pull that back um, depending on the angle it's a little bit easier but um, and then as far as the slider gate this just releases and then you've got your slider so that is how that rear gate works right there and then over here on the head side of the trailer you got your plexiglass again those come out if you need them to want them to you got four more ties so you got four additional ones four on each side led light up above and then you also have your escape door right here so escape door comes in handy when you've got that front area as more of a storage space you're able to you know head into there without having to go through the back if you've got horses in the back whatnot be able to get in and out of there so that shuts up use my hands so and then this is your 30 amp plug that i was telling you about to be able to put power into this front area um, you plug in right there 
and then your 30 amp either you know you if you have a portable generator you can plug it into there or if you're at an area that can um, you can plug into like campsite something like that you can do that as well so this trailer we're sitting at seven feet wide seven feet tall and then we've got a galvanized steel frame aluminum sheeting on the side and it's a 2020 Trails West Santa Fe with your weekender package, separate dressing room, um, dack room, and then your stock back back there. So if you guys have questions on this trailer or any other trailers on our lot, if you take a look at our website, I know we've got a bunch of drawings on there. That means that we have trailers on order. So if you're interested in one of those, let us know and we can let you know when we should be seeing them and all of that. But you can call or text me at my cell phone and that is 970-218-5996. Call my desk phone at 303-684-3451 or you can shoot me an email at morgan, M-O-R-G-A-N dot noll, K-N-O-L-L at translist.com. I look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business and I hope you have a great day.